Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Goddard Live. I'm your host, Sam Basu. It's a Thursday. It's .NET show day, and um, I have a hard um, stop today because at 11 Eastern, uh, my good friend Alyssa is going to be doing some Angular stuff. So I'm going to be kicked out if I <laughs> go over, which I'm not planning on anyway. So we'll end a little uh, few minutes um, before the top of the next hour, and then Alyssa is going to take on um, uh, angular stuff but uh yeah welcome folks welcome chat room sorry you couldn't hear me for the first couple of times you know like cables and things are not plugged in right uh so good to be back and uh yeah let's start let's start so um i thought i would share some of my pain in the last one or two days on getting my dev environment completely hosed up and then kind of recovering from it a little bit and then also starting up some you know app migrations i have lots and lots of like demo apps for like xamarin xamarin forms kind of moving them over to dotnet maui now we are at preview six so the tooling is almost there well i mean the, the framework is almost there the tooling is catching up so let me walk you through where i am at okay so first thing is uh, we're going to do um Hold on, let me see if I can get my keyboard right. There we go. So let's do .NET MAUI, um, uh, sure, Preview 6, let's do that. Okay, so we are at uh, Preview 6, uh, running on .NET 6, um, Preview 6. And uh, I have all of the workloads. Uh, there is the MAUI check tool. I have all of the workloads. Uh, if you haven't had it, you can just now do .NET workload install MAUI. That gets you everything under the sun or you can just choose to kind of manually install some of these things for ios for android for mac os catalyst and so on right and then you have ios and android other project requirements and then how to build and how to deploy them especially on a mac you don't have visual studio for mac support yet there are some things you can do with uh, vs code uh, but this is kind of how you do a build uh, for for the maui bits let me see how folks are pinging me on Twitter, which can wait. Um, so uh, the issue is I can actually run this. Okay, so this is the sample app, right? So let me start with this. Uh, I have pulled down this code and I can run this. And then this is where some of the tooling, like there are multiple like preview things we are doing here, right? Um, I'm actually on an inside ring for VS for Mac previews as well, like the next iteration. Um, and obviously Xcode is in beta because uh, the .NET MAUI 6 actually needs Xcode to be in the beta 13. Um, Xcode 13 beta 1 is what we need to use. So if you are interested, and this is I think what I did one of the last streams, uh, Ivana in the chat room is saying it's me sending the bat signal over. <laughs> okay, bat signal is good. Let me see if my... Um, if my uh, it's Thursday, so let's see if my chat highlight is working. There we go. Sometimes it highlights and then you are stuck on the screen because it doesn't unhighlight for you. But hey, Eva, good to see you. All right. Um, so um, if you are going to run .NET MAUI, the latest bits, okay, you do need to be on Xcode beta, which actually resides side by side. Um, and the, the important thing here to know is, uh, I think there's a site here, it's called Xcode Releases. So this uh, actually points you to the URLs uh, to Apple developer site, because like Xcode 13 isn't out yet, so you can't go get it from the App Store. Um, we are at 12.5, that's the latest like stable uh, production version, but Xcode 13, they are up to beta four now, okay? And you don't want to go there because it's not gonna work. Uh, it is only supposed to work with beta one. So like that download, so get that beta one and then you're good. It's a big download, it's like an 11 gig download, but once it's in, it's it's good. So uh, I have the Xcode uh, beta here and uh, I have the downloads pulled down here. So let me make sure I can run that. And I think I have been able to. So this is preview six, right? So I can open up uh, a folder here. 
which by the way, uh, if you are doing this, uh, you will have to set the um, Xcode version because the MS build and Maui check doesn't know that you have Xcode 13. So I think it is uh, Xcode select dash dash uh, print path, if I'm remembering this right. Yeah. So um, notice how this one points to Xcode beta. By default, it just points to Xcode.app. So you want to set that to point it to the beta so it knows that you are using Xcode 13 and then Maui check picks up, um, MS build picks up and everything is good. Um, so uh, let's, let's open up this uh, project real quick. And there are some unexplained things as to, so for a software developer, like what really bothers me is when we don't know why something is working more than why something is failing, right? So let me actually um, open up um, VS Code here. So that's the CS proj for this. And if I fire this up, .NET build, hello Maui. So I'm pointing, yes, VS Code, I know you can't work with all of this stuff. That's okay. Go away for now. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away. All right. Uh, so um, if I do this, uh, it should deploy, hopefully build and deploy. trying so this is where I was stuck for the last like two to three days because I, I couldn't get anything else to work uh, and it had to do with deployment and what Apple needs and some of it could be because of Xcode 13 maybe so it launches the default IO simulator you can actually change it uh, per the device ID so you get to see that that's .NET 6 preview 6 and everything is good right so I can run this and I have been able to run this because uh, if you notice here, uh, the bundle ID, it says com Microsoft Hello Maui, right? That's just the name of the app. Uh, and, and that is being set from the CS proj here, this is an application ID. And uh, so here's my reality. I um, have been an Apple developer, but I haven't renewed my Apple developer subscription in the last like one and a half to two years. I just haven't had a need to push anything to the store. It's just been a lot of like demo apps, which I can deploy to my devices and my simulators. And I don't need the paid subscription to do that, except uh, Xcode 13 or um, the MS Build uh, 17, which is also what they're using for Visual Studio 2022. It cannot pick up on the defaults, um, uh, default provisioning profiles very easily. And I don't know if you can hear this, but we are having a little bit of a storm uh, and some rains go through. So if I just disappear, like I, I lost power, okay? <laughs> Full caveat. Um, so I can do this, but the moment I tried, uh, like with this application ID, application ID is what is tied to what we deploy to an individual simulator or a device, right? So with that ID, I was able to deploy the default sample app, but I could not change or uh, the builds failed for lots of other apps because of the application ID and it kept complaining that, hey, I don't know your provisioning profile. So provisioning profile is what uh, Apple uses to know what app needs to go to what device and uses a certificate to uh, get around that. So um, here's where I was with uh, VS for Mac. And there are some bugs here that I think is what's causing some of the issues and I got around that. So let me pull up um, my preferences here. If I go to Apple developer account, okay? And this is VS for Mac stable production version. If I uh, click on this, that's that's my Apple account, okay? It, uh, it complained for the first time I added to say, hey, you're not a part of the paid Apple developer program, so we can't make this work. And I think this is for the hot, uh, reload for iOS if you want to plug in your iOS device and go. So it actually does not show my certs or does not show my provisioning profile and I cannot add a new account here which is, seems like a bug and I cannot remove this account either. You see that this one is uh, it's not there. So I don't know how Visual Studio is still working for some apps but then for all things .NET Maui it's obviously failing uh, and it's not meant to work with VS for Mac either. So 
that's where Visual Studio for Mac fails me. But then Visual Studio on Windows was okay because it did let me delete that old thing. So here's what I had to do. I had to go, yeah, thank you. I don't want to install that right now. Uh, I actually had to go and renew my Apple subscription because I cannot get this to work any other way. So I'm go you're gonna see me log in here and Apple's gonna do the usual security thing, which is fine. Yes. There you go. Trust. I don't know how many times I have to trust this browser. It asks me the same question, which is sensitive info, so I get it. Okay, so now I renewed. So I paid Apple the $99 that they need for every year to get all of the stuff uh, in. So if I go into my certs, um, so these are the certs and these are all, both of these two are dev certificates that are tied to my MacBook here. And uh, here's what I had to do. I have an identifier. This is a wildcard one. So it has the company name of like com, whatever is the company name, dot, and then uh, the star, right? So see, see that, um, if you can zoom in. See that, that that's my identifier. So I want that wildcard app name to be used for every one of my apps. So I don't have to keep doing it every app because I'm not using anything special like a push notification or an Apple payment system. So I don't need that specific app. So with that, like devices, it knows that I have an iPad connected to me. And then the profile, this is the part that was messing up and I made it just iOS using that developer certificate and um, just doing it for that wildcard identifier so with that i can download and i think that uh, it's just uh, this dev profile version you see that sam dev profile so that's what i have right and with that i can now do other apps which was failing for me before so uh, let me show you one of the things that was failing for me and chat room you're quiet let me know uh, what you want to see i'm still trying to show you where i was stuck and then now that I can run apps, I can think about some migrations to Dot and Maui. Okay, so we released, um, so there's this thing called uh, Telerik UI for Maui. If you haven't heard, uh, we are riding the wave nice and early, and uh, we already have preview bits for uh, Telerik UI controls um, and components that you can expect for Dot and Maui to kind of light up and um, help you ship your apps faster, performing controls. So we have this preview out. We're already up to you know, more than two, uh, well, it's a dozen, but then within each one, like the charts, that's like another you know, 10 different types of charts. Barcodes are like lots of different types and same with, um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, items control, uh, so some of these, the gauges, gauges are another like four or five different types. So we already are up to like two dozen. We just don't want to count all of the variations, but this one's out there and I wasn't able to, I was able to run this fine on WinUI 3 on Windows, but I wasn't able to run this on a Mac because of that provisioning profile. So now this is the bit and you can actually go and download this, play with this yourself. So that's the demo app. So let me pull up the demo app and this is what was complaining um, for like a week now that I, hey, I cannot find my provisioning profile until I manually went in there and just fed it that profile. And now it should be good. Uh, well, actually, uh, let me do this. Let's, let's first open this up so I can show you what I had to change. It's the bundle identifier that the magic is at. So since I have that wildcard, so now you'll notice that on this one, I'm, the application ID is com.sam.hellomawi, right? Or whatever else, right? So it needs that wildcard uh, identifier to be able to do this. Otherwise, it just doesn't know what to do. Okay, so now with that, uh, the project is still called Hello Mavi, so this should work. There we go. Okay, so here's, a, here's the default app and you can play around. Um, there is no, nothing we're fetching. All of this data is fake and I'm kind of fed into the app just to kind of prove um, that we can get a page going with all of these controls. There are lots and lots of variations of these charts. And we also did um, different types of um, 
uh, gauges so linear gauges radial gauges you name it you can do it all actually uh, and we also did several types of barcodes QR codes so you can do all of that so our suite is coming along very nicely um, so I can run this app now which is good uh, provision profile is in place uh, and I, I don't know like for this like you should not be needing a paid developer account you should not but I just could not get around I just gave in and, and paid Apple the hundred dollars uh, that they need to get me going um, but it seems like there's a bug in Visual Studio for Mac and there is um, and, and Dotnet now is trying to use the latest and greatest and failing because it just cannot get the provisioning default provisioning profile out of this so anyways so i'm just glad to be able to run apps again because uh, i couldn't for some time now okay so we are good there uh let's start um let's start looking at some other apps that we can move over let's start with something very simple um let's actually go over to visual studio and this is the other part. I don't know the apps that are, um, uh, let, let's do a chat app. That's that's nice and simple. I was looking through that. Um, so the other apps that are not .NET MAUI, like how is Visual Studio deploying those things? Um, because if I look at the iOS um, info P list, open with uh, um, hex editor. Oh no, 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 not hex. That'll be too much. Yeah, can I open this? And double click maybe yeah so see that bundle identifier is com company name signal our chat client and that one visual studio is okay with because it's just probably older exam form stuff and it just doesn't care but any of the new dog and maui stuff does care and it just cannot find my default provisioning certificate for some reason but anyways let's look at this app here it is uh super simple let me bump up the fonts here a little bit and this one here as well so this one's a simple chat application okay and it is powered by signalr so there is a signalr web service that i have it's simple asp.net like um razor pages type thing and it's it's just hosted either locally or in the cloud and it, we can just like talk to that right so this uh, app here starts out with like a couple of entry fields it's got a button and a label and let me change that to something we can look at iPhone 11 and then um, this one here let me see uh, okay so I had it connected to my local host or I also have it hosted on on Azure so that's the one we can connect to it's going to try to establish that connection and then we can have a real-time chat so let's actually pull up that um, that site which I think I have it bookmarked here and yeah, there we go and for those of you in the chat room, I might uh, write that down for you. Um, what is coming up? Signal R. What is it? Backend. Backend dot. Am I typing this right? Yep. Yeah. Azure websites dot uh, net. I think. There you go. So. Um, that's the URL I'm on. If you want to jump in, there's, there is no authentication. There is nothing, no filtering. So keep it clean, please. Um, but here I can do things like the web says hi. This is real time, obviously, and I can keep doing it. It's just real time, right? But I can also pull up the same, um, change up the client from being a web client to uh, to a .NET client. In particular, this being a Xamarin app, so an iOS client. Uh, I can do the same thing. Hopefully, if unless I have bought Visual Studio again, no, looks like it's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that thing is up. Let's see, website still up. Yeah. Okay. So now we can say, let's move this over a little bit so we can read button. Oh, QS Drive is here. Well, good for you to show up directly in the chat of my app QS drive <laughs> thank you okay ios says hello curious drive right maybe there you go so it's instantaneous right uh, so the web and ios talking to each other in real time nothing uh, nothing crazy about it this is just meant to work so uh, but this was xamarin forms so i think about like a year two years back is when i wrote this can this work on dotnet maui 
right? Uh, and there's there are some uh, immediate stopping points, but we can kind of power through and see what we can we have to do to make this work. Um, but everything here is pretty simple. Um, nothing here in the code markup, like the UI markup, you just see the two entry buttons and uh, like two check text boxes and a button. And then uh, once we are in the code behind, what we try doing is establishing that connection with that Azure websites and then the chat hub, which is just a route. And then um, this is where we do the start async, which essentially um, this is the handshake that says, hey, I can talk your language. Uh, this is happening over web sockets. And then um, we can, whenever the user types in something, we can do a send message, which is a method on the server that we're invoking to say, here's the user, here's the message. And when the server sends something, we listen to it with the receive message function. And then we just grab whatever is coming back from the server. So um, super simple stuff. But uh, this one is dependent on, and I don't know if this will work, but I can try. Um, it is dependent on um, Xamarin Essentials, we don't need Xamarin Forms, we don't need Telerik UI. Oh, I think I had like a dashboard in here. Uh, there was a dashboard XAML where I was updating like gauges and other types of charts uh, with the real time backend, uh, but we don't have to go, go there yet. Uh, what we can do is uh, just the chat, but for that, uh, this puppy needs to work, which is the ASP.NET. Um, Signar uh, client. Uh, O5K4R, if I can pronounce your handle right. Uh, am I using Maui? I'm about to. So you're catching me right at the uh, instance. But no, this is this is still Xamarin Forms, right? You can see that right here is Xamarin Forms, right? But let's make that work on Maui, shall we? And well, see where where things break. Okay, so we're going to keep Visual Studio open. This is Xamarin Forms. And uh, let's see if we can move this over to Maui. Okay, um, so let's keep that um, and uh, let's open up um, Terminal. And uh, if you're on a Mac, on, on Windows, uh, VS 22 Preview 2 works better with, uh, with Gardner Maui, but on a Mac, VS for Mac is being redone and they don't have Maui support yet. So we are stuck with the command line, which I'm actually more than fine with. Um, but the, the tooling is not there. The VS Code doesn't do the builds yet, so you have to come back and do the builds here. Okay, so I like keeping stuff in this thing called CLI Projects, right? So let's go to CLI Projects here. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, where is... Yeah, so I can see it. Make a directory called Maui Chat, right? Okay, so there, there's Maui Chat being spit out right there. We're gonna go into Maui Chat. Okay, now uh, this is the thing that you have to do if you're on on um, on macOS. Okay, so if I do a .NET new, I think it's what's what's help? Is it H or maybe? Yeah, it, it was help. So these are all the templates that I have. Okay, um, ooh, what are these? Type dry run uh, force. No, that's not what I was looking at. That's just help. I was looking at list, not help. Okay. So dot net uh, new. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I think it's list, right? There you go. Okay. So these are all the CLI tools that I can spit out from .NET, right? So WPF apps, which is interesting, WPF uh, apps from a command line. But way up there, I can do Blazor stuff, and they kind of confused you with the dot in front, but that's where it is, the .NET Maui app and .NET Maui Blazor app. So it's just Maui and Maui Blazor, right? So uh, runs on Maui, Android, iOS, Mac OS. So that's what I'll be looking at, right? So we can, uh, since we are on that directory itself, uh, let's do a clear. Let's do dot uh, net new Maui. All right, Maui app is done. So this is, we call it Maui chat, right? Yep, so there you go. So it's spit out dot uh, Maui project. This is the same thing that you will get from Visual Studio 2022. If you did a file new dot Maui app, that's what you will get. Uh, but we cannot open up the solution here on Visual Studio because things are going to crash and burn gloriously. It's not meant to work on VS for Mac yet. Um, but we can open it up in, uh, where am I? Should be able to open that up. 
Okay, so VS Code, we're going to keep that for Maui, and then Visual Studio for Mac, we're going to keep that for Xamarin Forms. And the first thing I'm going to check is the thing that I'm going to forget if I don't. Uh, for those of you who joined me earlier, I spoke about my uh, perennial pains about deploying to iOS, and I haven't had issues in a while except now it could not find my provisioning profile. So I had to manually go and create one, download that, so now it knows anything that is com.sam is my app, and then I have a com.sam. Uh, do I still have it open? Yeah, so Apple certificate, that's my dev profile, um, and identifiers, like it's using that, um, where's my zooming? It's using com.sam. Uh, you know, uh, like a, a wildcard. So uh, that's what I'm using, okay? So hopefully that will make it work. Uh, and then we can, do I still have that? Yeah, I still have that. Now it's not called Hello Maui anymore. This one we named it Maui Chat, right? I think, yeah. Now, fingers crossed. Let's see if this will build and deploy. See the provisioning profile, it knows how to pick up that SAM dev profile and I cannot for the life of me figure out like why it wasn't picking it up before because it's just dev profile it's meant to work with wildcards anyways so that's the signing identity and now it's squishing the app package there we go the gorgeous iPad Pro simulator comes up and bingo, that's our Donner Maui Preview 6 app, right? And you can click, obviously, the count goes up. We got it, okay? Yay! All right, so we're gonna keep the, um, we're gonna keep this one here and uh, just try to see what we can get around um, doing stuff here. We don't need the CS project anymore. I think everything else is fine. Uh, this will actually build for Mac Catalyst. Oh, can I do a build for Mac Catalyst as well? Hold on. Uh, no, that one still is up. Um, what was the thing? Can I do the same for Mac Catalyst or am I going to break stuff? That was, uh, let's do this. Mac Catalyst. Got it. Uh, I'll just change it to, I don't remember these uh, shortcuts very well, so I always copy. So Maui chat, go run on .NET 6 and produce me a build for Mac Catalyst. Go. And let's try. So um, 05K4R, uh, so this is done in Maui. Uh, preview six, right? So to answer your question, yeah. So now we should see. Oh yeah, look at that! It even has the little .NET logo here. Uh, so that's the same Donner Maui app now running on a Mac desktop. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want to do. All right. So we got it working. Yay! Uh, Xcode. Why are you X? Oh no, that's just the simulator. So we can keep that up. All right. VS Code. We don't need the CS project anymore. We got that working. So now uh, everything that we saw is in this XAML file and in this XAML.cs file. Okay. This one is uh, just updating the current counter. And this one is using a whole bunch of stuff here that we don't need. So oh, look at the schemas here. So folks, you need to use this, right? Actually on the CS project, let me show you this one. Um, where is that actually? Oh, right here. So you want to use this, use Maui, okay? Uh, it's just one flag that pulls in a bunch of things. And actually we might try doing this as well, um, if I have time, um, but we used to have this thing called Xamarin Essentials, right? You folks might remember uh, Xamarin Essentials. This has been like the um, uh, staple for many, many Xamarin developers, because this is what gives us like one NuGet package. They do some tree shaking, but this is what gives us access to all of the device APIs in C Sharp, so I don't have to write Java or Swift or anything. It's just consistent and it's done well, maintained by Microsoft. So this is actually moving over to 
Maui essentials, right? It's already part of the dollar Maui repo. They're working on it. It's not done yet. But um, the fact that you do this and then you pull in like a using Maui essentials namespace and then all of those APIs are just ready and available for you, right? So uh, they stick this in uh, right away, which is good. Uh, that's my app chat title, application ID. That's good. So we can proceed. Okay. So notice these uh, schemas. They are 2021 Maui, the latest and greatest. Okay. Um, background color stays. Uh, that's the scroll view. Okay. So why don't we knock this whole thing off? Because we don't need that. This whole grid. Yeah. Go away. So we could use the stack layout. Now let's go to Visual Studio and find our chat application here. So we're going to skip the schemas, um, but let's see if an entry button label, if those things are still good. This should be in Dunder Mami. If I just did this. Okay. Entry message. Uh, I don't have the clicked yet. Just want to see it working. Okay, that's just a button message holder. Okay, so now we go back here. Don't do a Mac catalyst. Let's do an iOS build. Oh no, counter level does not exist. Oh, I see. I see. It's this guy. Happy? Yeah. I, I removed the label and then the code behind was still looking for it. Or the, the yeah. The counter. <laughs> Looks like it's doing it. Now, will I see all this UI uh, in Maui just as is from Xamarin Forms? Yeah, I do. I do. Look at that. I got the user. Uh, I got the keyboard thingy, I got the message, and I got a button. There you go. Nice, nice and sweet. So no changes needed, which we, we don't expect any changes for for that. Okay. Don't need any of this. Okay, so um, uh, it has an on-platform padding. Well, that can stay. That's just for iOS. Okay, so now here's the big thing. Um, will it be able to pull down this NuGet file, uh, this NuGet package, right? Without this SignalR client, we cannot connect. Uh, so we don't have a way of doing that very easily from UI. So I can just copy from CSProj maybe. Um, okay, where is that? That I can do edit, maybe. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, grab this whole thing. Okay, this might break, but we'll try. Okay, now CS Proj. Property group, item group. Wait, where am I supposed to add this? Uh, project file, this whole thing was in an item group. Should be anywhere inside item group, right? Maui image. Uh, all right, let's see what we break. Package reference that. Can I do a build? So now it will try to pull down the NuGet package, I hope. I'm in uncharted territory. I don't know if NuGet packages work for Donner Maui. Yeah, it is starting to work. Oh, and folks, uh, you see my nice little Maui shirt? If you are wanting this, there's a there's a bonfire. Just look for Dr. Maui shirts and you can find this and you can support a good cause. This is, uh, well, I mean, this one clearly works, so uh, we can stop that. Um, but, sorry to digress, but uh, it is Gerald vs. Lewis. And if I can spell his last name right. Uh, bonfire Maui shirt. Yeah, so you're gonna end up here. 
There you go. So that's the light, um, but uh, there are more things to it. You don't have to go with the light shirt. Uh, there, there's a dark mode. That's what this is. No, I think this is actually, uh, this is a color called mocha or maybe gray or coffee, something like that. Um, but this is just pure black. Um, and you can also get this in light or blue if you want. So go get a shirt if you are up for supporting a good cause. Uh, the proceeds go to Girls Who Code. Okay. So thank you, Gerald, for doing that. Um, okay, we're not on Xamarin Essentials yet. We are still trying to do this. And it looked like it didn't bark at me, right? So I hope it's okay. So now let's go over to Xamarin Forms app and try to see what we need to add. Okay, we're gonna add this one here first and then start the hub connection because without that, nothing will work. Look at that, how clean this is. Like, look at the usings here. And all of the other usings we had to kind of get rid of, now they're starting up nice and clean. So just that. Okay, now can I do a hub connection? This is how professional developers code, by the way. It's a lot of copy and paste. At least I do. All right, hub connection. Uh, well, it's, it's hard to know whether IntelliSense is picking it up or if it's really broke or if it's okay. We shall see. Okay, hub connection is good. Uh, we're gonna do our do real time stuff here. Sure, let's do that. After we initialize the page, we do a real time stuff, and that is just an async and await right here. So we're essentially taking code as is from a Xamarin Forms app. So what I could have done done is actually I could I could have replaced the namespaces and tried that to work, but again, like the runtimes and the DLLs and everything is so different with .NET and Mavi 6. It's almost easier to just start from scratch and then just do it. Okay, so we're doing a SignalR chat setup. And let's do this. And uh, let's also do this. Oh, we'll grab all of it. Why not? There we go. And we see what we break. There we go. Okay. We're not running this on localhost, so we can get rid of that. Get rid of the localhost entirely. We just live on the edge. We go straight to the cloud, right? Uh, so that's the back end on. We have received message. SignalR connect is going to try doing the async. Connection failed. We're not going to recover. We're just going to fail gloriously. That's fine. Um, button send event handler. This is not hooked up. So this one here needs to say clicked, right? No, what is it? On click? Wait, it's meant to be clicked. Or maybe I'm just not getting into sense. That's all right, Visual Studio. It is meant to be clicked. All right. Clicked, there we go. Button send. So when I, let's move the chat project over here. So that has the button send, and then that should trigger this. We'll grab the username text. Okay, what else? Well, if, if the hub connection and this client doesn't work on Maui, then everything is moot, because we, we can't do any of this other stuff. But that should be all that we need to do that. Okay. Let's try. Uh, so back on my back end, uh, refresh that. So that's still up. All right. Now we go to our CLI build, .NET build, Maui chat. Can you folks see this? There we go. Uh, Maui chat, iOS, go. Oh, task. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the things to do task, which is odd. Okay, that's uh, what library is threading system threading tasks. Okay, we are really in uncharted territory. I have no idea if it's meant to work with threading yet. Uh, but let's try. Would be nice if the build told us before. Well, IntelliSense doesn't know yet, so that's okay. 
trying. It's better, it's building. I'm at 1043, oh boy, okay. It's so another um, 10, 12 minutes uh, sharp is what I have. Okay, it's building. And then my good friend Alyssa is gonna kick me out. And I think she's doing like a three hour Angular stream. Okay, so we are up, we are up. Um, so the web says, let's do, uh, yeah, web says Aloha. Cause this is Maui. Okay, that picks up. It works. It works. Hold on. Let's let's try the other way. Uh, so Maui says aloha back to you. And send. It works. Also celebrations. Hold on. Where, where are my buttons? There you go. Now that's not, not enough celebration. Hold on. What else can I do? Um, <laughs> I can do a chicken. <laughs> this is nice. So I actually did not expect this to work. I am happy. So straight up Xamarin Forms app that was talking to a web backend or Signal-R, we can just move it over this uh the, the the key thing is the nougat package works so the maui app just picks up right so now you got uh and i can keep sending this so there you go yeah 3d polyrath is giving us uh, a lot of celebrations thank you it's funny like the dragon parts of the dragon flying around but yeah thank you uh and then and you can you can uh chime in here again uh so let, let's see all of you can weigh in because I gave you access to my, it's not run localhost, so where is that poor octopus? Yeah. Uh, wait, I can't highlight my own messages? What the heck? Okay, go, go, to, go to this, go to this, all of you, okay? You, you, can, you can do this with me. So let me, let me zoom in. Okay, you see that? Sam Signalar backend dot Azure websites dot net. Okay, so just keep it clean, keep it friendly. Otherwise, you can do this with me. So let, let's have one of you uh, show me something on my iOS simulator and on the web. I know Curious Drive was here before, but uh, yeah. Let's see if I can go on the Octopus theme. Octopus Maui. There you go. So. I'll keep it open for another uh, couple of minutes. So go ahead if any anyone wants to um, send me a quick chat request here. It's real time. So if you do it on the web, it shows up on my iOS simulator. Yeah, there you go. CN Horn says hello world. Yeah, hello, hello. So I'm actually happy with this because I did not expect this to work, but it works. Okay. <laughs> 3D Polaroid is here. Howdy. Oh, Indiana. Interesting. I'm Northwest Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so um, we got 10 minutes left. I don't know if I can do this, but I can try. Uh, what if we, uh, you know, like when somebody joins a chat room, like you get that uh, message to say, hey, this person joined the chat room. Um, so maybe we, we try this one here with Xamarin Essentials. Um, but I, I need to know exactly what they did. So if, if you're interested, folks, if you want to stay up on uh, .NET Maui stuff, I, I do this newsletter thing every Monday, uh, and I try to pull together some of the best um, Maui content uh, from around the web, anybody doing videos, anybody writing an article. So just look for Sense of Maui. It's just my little name that talks about all of the Maui content that the community produces and we learn from each other, that's great. So I list uh, some of the uh, kind of noteworthy content every week. And what I'm trying to get back to is this article here by my good friend, James Montemagno. He is a PM, uh, has been a PM on the Xamarin team for a long, long time. Uh, but uh, he's one of the key forces behind Xamarin Essentials um, engineering wise and project management wise. So he wrote up this post 
where uh, I mean, you, you may have seen this before. So Xamarin Essentials uh, is at 1.7 right now, but it is going to follow the same um, kind of um, life cycle as Xamarin Forms, right? So Xamarin Forms, as we know it, will be sunset, uh, not this year, but next year, November 2022. And that will also be when Xamarin Forms sunsets, right? But they have already moved over uh, if they haven't already, but most of it is already moved over into .NET MAUI Essentials, which is the thing to get us to all of the APIs in .NET MAUI, right? So uh, that's already there in the GitHub repo here. So this is the uh, Essentials. It's called MAUI Source Essentials, and you can see all the docs uh, and all the stuff that they're doing. Um, so this is where uh, C uses use MAUI in the CS proj. Uh, with this enabled, all of the MAUI essentials will come alive. All you need to do is using Microsoft MAUI essentials and all of your APIs you know and love are at your fingertips. Okay, James, let's give it a try. Uh, so we're going to go in here. Oh no, Windows, don't update now in the middle of a stream. <laughs> uh, um, so Windows is my is my streaming machine and I just really wanted to update. Okay, um, that's it, my essentials. And, oh wait, uh, there is more thing to it. Still won't leverage all the APIs in Xamarin Essentials. You'll have it covered using, um, oh, three part of this saying instructions are unclear updating now. Oh. I'm just looking at the instructions, but uh, if they're unclear, then we can't proceed a whole lot, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's still being worked on. Like, I mean, they haven't said go use Mavi Essentials right away. So we may be just tinkering on the bleeding edge here. Um, and I got six minutes left before I have to hand it over to the other stream, the Angular stream. Uh, oh, no, it's a joke about the streaming PC. I see. Okay. Yeah, I see. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. I am okay. So, is anybody running Windows 11 yet? Like for anything like serious, like your dev machine or your streaming or your production machine? Because I'm thinking I should I should just bite the bullet, get on with it. Um, I haven't. Uh, I I do have Windows 11 on on a VM, but I don't do anything with it, so I'm, I'm not using it. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna try just one quick thing. So, what can we use? Um, <laughs> my IT would kill me. <laughs> it is on, only on the Windows Insider channels. So yeah, it's just, uh, okay, I was looking at this. Um, connectivity, where can we, uh, maybe the app information? It's not very, it's not like really like the name of the person. So if I do using Xamarin Essentials, app name would be app info. Um, we can try. Well, it's just gonna be the app name though. Let's try. So if we go in here, do real time stuff. Um, um, is that after we have initialized? Probably. Yeah, probably not best to do it here, but let's try. Um, okay, move it over. App name, app info dot name, right? Um, and then we do the real-time stuff. Uh, what if we do this? Um, our thing here has a name, right? Uh, it's called the uh, uh, username, right? So what if we do this dot user name? Is this still text? Yeah, equals app name. Let's just try, okay? So we, we're not going to do anything, just try to read the app name and stick it into the text box, right? See if that works. Okay, where's my build? Uh, go build. And this may be the last thing we, we do. Because if, if I can read this, then I can do things like, hey, like this particular user joined this chat room, say hello, and then the chat can proceed. So this will be a test whether Mavi Essentials and the, um, the app info API, if that's working yet. Let's see, let's see. It's trying. No, mm. it works, it works. You see that? This thing here, that's Maui Chat. That's the name of the uh, name of the app. Sweet. 
<laughs> this this is gonna be a, a stream where like I'm not like presently surprised with all the things that are working because like I have done like and, and folks who join me like most Thursdays like you have seen me sit through a whole hour where I cannot even get a build done <laughs> like I cannot deploy anything so I'm just like I, I should go buy a lottery ticket or something today like everything I try is working I'm amazed okay so um, it's working what else what else can we do is maui essential all ready for us accelerometer uh, nothing to use app theme parameter battery clipboard anything else interesting compass connectivity contacts i won't have contacts on our simulator email device information uh oh i can get a device model I can get a manufacturer, I can get a device. Let's try it, model. So this is pretty sweet, like just one line, Maui Essentials just brings all of this in and it builds, it doesn't complain. Okay, here we go. Last thing, last thing, let's try. I'm just, you know, I, I was stuck on this deploy for like three days. I could not figure it out. And I mean, it's just bad. Like, look at the bundle ID right there. It's comsam.mavichat. It is really unfortunate that I actually had to pay Apple to get that working because I think it's just a bug in Visual Studio plus the latest bits don't help. Ooh, x86-64, which I guess is the <laughs> iPad simulator, but that's just not very friendly. Uh, but yeah, I'm just a little bummed that I had to do that because I, I just could not figure out a way uh, around this. Um, manufacturer, maybe it's just a, a name, device info dot name. Oh, look at that. It actually picks up the intelligence as well. No, maybe spoke too soon. Dot. No. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. I'll be surprised if it did. Okay, um, so we got the name, last build. I keep saying last, but I'm four minutes in now. Four minutes till the Angular stream starts. All right, come on, last build. We got this. I just want to see like an iPad or something that it's actually picking up the device name. <laughs> Last four minutes, yes. <laughs> it is, I, there you go, there you go. iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation. That's as explicit as it gets in terms of a simulator device name. So, well done, well done. And, and this is, this should still be what we transmit to the web, right? So, web says I'm here right and my iPad where is that this guy says me too and let's minimize this guy send there you go look at that so it picks up the the, the app name <laughs> and QS drive is still here 3d polar is still here I'm done with the meeting. QS Drive, I'm done with the stream as well here. <laughs> uh, but you can hang out here with Alyssa in three minutes because she's starting out an Angular uh, stream. I think it's a three hour stream. Uh, but this has been fun because uh, I'm used to absolutely nothing working for me. I am just blown away by all the things that are working for me today. Uh, so what we did, we started with some deployment saga, uh, nothing working for me in terms of the provisioning certificates and the profiles that iOS apps need. Uh, once I had that figured out, I actually had to go to the Apple Dev Store, uh, configure all of that manually, download that, and then Visual Studio picks it up. And MS Build 17, in fact, it's what Dr. Maui is using, that picks up. Then I had an app that was Aaron Forms, that was a chat app, we were able to just Pick up the code as is, just switch out the namespace, <laughs> no stream for you, uh, and it works. So we have a real-time Maui uh, app that's talking in real-time to a web backend, which is again, nothing rocket science, but it just works. 
and it's good to see the NuGet packages and everything move over. And Maui Essentials is starting to work. Uh, I'm going to check all of the other things we do with Maui on Xamarin Essentials, but this is pretty fun. So this is the start uh, of app migration. Now this was super simple. Uh, I will try to get into some of the more complex things. Like if you had a custom render, how does that move it over to a .NET MAUI handler? Like, do you have to migrate right now? The answer is no, you can kind of get around with it or without it for now. Um, but this is just the start of like migrating a lot of different apps from Xamarin to uh, .NET MAUI. So exciting and fun times. Okay, so folks, um, Curious Drive, um, not that, Where's my, where are my buttons? I'm forgetting stuff here, there we go. Love for you all. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, at least it wasn't an hour of failed builds today. So I appreciate you and I appreciate all the things that do work. Um, so have a great rest of your day and stay well, okay? Bye bye for now.